Hi, this is Joel. Ted, hey. How you doing? I was expecting your call. All right, I'm glad you took advantage of uh, this complimentary call about franchising. I saw on the uh, short form you filled out that you were interested in looking at a Taco Bell franchise. Right, right. Oh, you know, before I continue, um, I'm on video right now talking to you, but no one can hear your voice, and I'm just using your first name, if that's fine. Okay, all right, Ted. All right, so Taco Bell. Oh, thank you, thank you. You read my uh, my article on Taco Bell franchising. Great. All right. So the first question I have to ask you is why Taco Bell? All right. Oh, okay, good. So you 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 work in a restaurant. Oh, good. All right. So you've ma you've managed a couple of restaurants already. You work in a restaurant now. Good, good, good. I like that. Um, I think that Taco Bell and a lot of major uh, restaurant franchises like that really prefer people with food service experience, so you're on the right track for sure. Where do you live? Dallas, Texas. All right. All right. I'm sure there's some Taco Bells down there. All right. So um, have you contacted Taco Bell headquarters yet? Oh, all right. You wanted to talk to me first. Hey. Smart move, I don't blame you. But you know, you can contact them anytime for franchise information. Just fill out their their simple uh, form for, uh, you know, request request more information about the franchise. So you do that anytime. You don't need to talk to me first, but. All right, so what uh, what's the purpose of your call? What, what questions can I answer for you? Aha, okay. All right, so you have the, the typical money questions. Well, you know, as you saw in the article, the investment range, I mean, you're in that million dollar range for a Taco Bell uh, restaurant. You know, the ones that I've seen are freestanding, so it's probably more. All right, so if I can be frank with you, Ted, <laughs> do you have that kind of money? No, okay. Well, most people don't have a million dollars laying around, so I understand. Uh, kind of a personal question, but what uh, w w a quick financial snapshot? What is your net worth? How much liquid do you have? All right, so you have a net worth of one hundred fifty thousand. All right, and liquid, like how much could you write a check for? Mm, all right. Well, if you can only write a check for like ten thousand dollars, and your net worth is um, uh, a all right, a minimum of 100. Okay, so 150 for sure. You've, you've, you, okay. All right, so it's 150,000. You don't have any like stocks or bonds. Do you have like equity in a house? No, you just bought it. Okay, all right, all right. So your question is can you buy a Taco Bell with like nothing down? Uh, well, you know, I'm not the CEO uh, uh, of Yum Brands or Taco Bell, so, you know, the decision is uh, definitely not up to me. But generally speaking, if you were to buy a franchise that's going to be a million dollars plus total investment with real estate and inventory and just all the equipment that you need to buy, you're not going to be able to do it with nothing down. Or even in your case, I mean, even with 10000 or $15,000 down. Um, you know, a lot of uh, people, when they apply for small business loans, let's go with an SBA loan, think that, you know, it's, they're, they're no money down loans. They're not. You, you as, as the person getting the loan, you need to show skin in the game. You need to know, banks need to know that you're putting your money in. You have skin in the game because you're willing to take the risk. Because if they're going to back your risk and take a risk themselves, they need to know that you're serious about this. Yeah, I mean, there's no such thing as a no money down franchise opportunity unless, you know, it's a $50,000 uh, franchise, kind of a home base thing, and you have $50,000. Well, then there's no money down. You're, you're paying in full. But, you know, 90% of the people I've ever worked with who have bought a franchise have put money into it and have leveraged, uh, you know, using a, a, an SBA loan or some type of small business loan. You've got to put money down. And 
Uh, I would imagine that Taco Bell is going to have a net worth requirement uh, of at least five hundred or seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. So you're going to be below that net worth requirement. But again, um, you know, it's not for me to decide that you cannot, you know, buy a Taco Bell franchise or that you cannot qualify for a Taco Bell franchise. You know, I wrote an article about Taco Bell. I know about franchising and work with people like you one on one, but. You know, so, so I don't have permission, you know, or the power to turn you down, but, uh, ah, grants. So many people ask about government grants. I can tell you that, um, there's no such thing as free money. Um, you know, there's like community reinvestment, community development, companies, nonprofits and stuff that, that sometimes can do something, but, uh, I don't know how that would work. Uh, I really don't. So, you know, you can contact some of the local business leaders. Maybe you can, you know, talk to someone and convince them to, you know, help you with a loan. I mean, there's, there's other ways to do it, but if you're going to go straight to Taco Bell and say, I want to buy a franchise, here's what I have, and here's why I qualify. I've been a restaurant manager. I've been in the food business for many years. That's great, but, you know, it, it's, it's going to be a no, just, just based on what you're telling me. Okay, you know, I don't, I don't want to be Buzzkill, Mr. Buzzkill here, uh, but, you know, as opposed to telling you something you want to hear, like, oh, sure, you'll be able to do it with no money down, or you'll be able to qualify, you know, the, they'll find a way to put you in business. It, it, you know, unfortunately, it doesn't happen like that. All right, Ted, yep. All right, well, thanks for calling. Thanks for reading that article, and, you know, if I can help you in the future with something, please don't hesitate to call. And go to thefranchiseking.com for, you know, up-to-date information on all franchises. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Buying a franchise with no money down is a real tough thing unless it's a real low-cost franchise and you're just, you know, you're just paying cash for it. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Ababa. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll try to do... A lot more like this. I, th I think um, I think it'll help you uh, get an idea of what franchising is like for real. Once again, I'm the franchise king, Joel Ababa. Thank you for watching.